I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the term markup price. Sam purchased a lamb for $1.36. He marked up the price by 70% to put a price tag. What is his selling price? So selling price is higher by 70%. I'll show you two different ways of doing it. Uh, what is 70% of 36? Let's find that. 70% means 70 out of 100. Of 36 means times 36. So that is 70% of 36. So which is 0.7 times 36. And that is equals to approximately 25.20. Okay, it is 25.20. So this is markup. Markup means you have to increase by that amount, the original price, correct? So, so that is the markup. Therefore, the tag price is going to be original price, which is $36, plus the markup of 25.20, right? So you can add this to 36 plus 36 equals to in decimals 61.20 61.20 so that is one way of calculating markup now here is another method which is kind of faster way of doing the same thing when we say that 70 percent is markup that means that the original price of 36 has been increased now instead of paying 36 you are paying 36 is one whole you are paying 1.70 times 36 correct so so the marker price could be 36 times 1 plus 70 percent right 1 plus 70 percent or 1.70 so let's calculate this value and see what do we get we get 36 times 1.70 equals to in decimals 61.20 correct so do you see both the cases we get the same price correct but this is like one statement which gives you the result directly so we can say that the selling price is dollar 61.20 correct now let's look into the next question a lamp purchased from the distributor is being sold for dollar 70 after a markup of 40 percent what was the purchase price so we don't know the purchase price let us say let the purchase price be p right let's let's say p is your purchase price now we say a lamp purchased from the distributor is being sold for dollar 70 after a markup of 40 percent so this markup is on the purchase price so we are selling it at purchase price time 40 percent is markup so 1.40 that should be 70 dollars you get an idea so purchase price is 70 divided by 1.40 that is we can use the calculator find the answer 70 divided by 1.40 gives you 50 dollars so so this answer is 50 dollars great so this method which we developed here is very useful it can be used or applied um, and to get quick results right otherwise the original method which could have been used here is kind of like this let us say p is the purchase price so p plus 40 percent of p which is 0 0.40 p right that is equals to 70 you can take p common so you get 1 plus 0 0.40 equals to 70 and this is indeed p times 1.40 you get an idea right so we land with the same equation and p equals to 70 divided by 1.40 which will give you 50 dollars correct so it is indeed the same equation 
But with a clear understanding, we can actually avoid such steps and get directly to the equation. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps. If not, you can continue with the standard method, which is shown here, right? So these are the two standard methods to work with such questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.